What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use filters in Revit. This will be kind of an introduction of the filter options in Revit that will allow you to kind of do something cool with your models, kind of extract some important information and present it graphically easy in views. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well, I post there almost daily too. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and for this I'm just going to be using the architectural template. It will be kind of a simple example that I'm going to be showing you. So let's say we have some uh, floor slabs. So I'm just going to go here to floor and uh, let's create a small rectangle and kind of finish it. Then I'm just going to go to floor again, make a medium uh, rectangle kind of like this, finish that. And then let's do one more, so floor rectangle and let's do one large and just finished. So we have kind of three uh, three floors of different uh, dimensions and uh, let's say we have some building where we have to kind of do floors for the whole building and we would like to kind of differentiate in our uh, model to kind of represent the size of these uh, of all of those floors. So you want to kind of show graphically uh, the size of the floors. So we're going to do that using filters. Filters allow us to go into visibility graphics and to actually uh, change uh, the visibility settings so you can kind of point stuff out, out like this. So this is kind of a, a simple uh, way of explaining how filters work just by doing on uh, like the, the dimensions of floor slabs. So let's select the middle one and let's just see the, uh, the size. So it's, uh, what's the area? 121. So I'm just going to remember that number, 121. 21 uh, square meters for the middle one and now let's go into filters so to get to filters you need to go into visibility graphics and to get to visibility graphics you need to type in VG on your keyboard and you get this visibility graphics dialog now this is a view specific so this only works in the current view so if you go to some other level 2 or 3d view uh, you won't keep this settings though so just keep that in mind so now I'm just going to go here to filters it's the last tab over here and this is what a filters uh, dialog looks like. Now first thing before we do anything we need to create a new filter and to do that just go here edit and new and here you've got this filter dialog. So here you've got a basic dialog and here you've got rule based filters, uh, selection filters and how to create a new filter. Well you go here to this new icon, this is like this, the same icon that Revit uses everywhere for creating something new. Click on that and you get this filter name. So let's call this a uh, small floor. So let's say you want to differentiate by dimensions, you're going to have the medium, the small and the large floor. So this is just a small floor. Okay, so once we have that we need to, uh, once we have the name, so it's a small floor, it's selected, let's choose a category. So for the category I'm just going to scroll through this and find floors because that's what we're using. So just check the floor category. Now we go to the filter rules. Now here first we need to choose what what are we actually kind of looking at and uh, let's uh, kind of scroll down a bit. Let's see what we have over here. So let's for the size let's go by area. So let's click area and here let's choose for the small floor option. Let's choose is less than and here for the number, let's do 121. As you remember, that's the size of the middle one. So everything that's smaller than the middle one will be uh, it will be in this kind of filter category. Then just hit apply, OK, and you're done with that first filter. Now, how you edit it over here? How do you make it appear in the visibility graphics? Well, you need to go here to add, and you go to small floor, hit OK. And now you can override the, the actual graphics. So if I just kind of move this out of the way over here and let's go to patterns and let's change the foreground pattern or the, the, the pattern of the floor as we see it. So for the foreground let's place it at solid just so we can see it the easiest and let's make it red and hit OK. OK again. 
apply and as you can see now the only the small one is red and the rest of them are kind of white as they were now let's add some more filters so let's go here to new let's select this uh, small floor and right click on it and go duplicate and let's right click on this one and go rename and instead of small floor let's just go here and call it medium medium floor hit OK and uh, now it's going to keep the same kind of uh, the same category so it still says floor we're only going to change this uh, it's it, it also says also area and also 121 but we're going to change is less than for the medium one equals to and this one and just hit apply OK and now go here add let's add that medium floor and for this one let's change the pattern to something different let's go with let's go with solid color but let's go with blue okay so this looks nice hit ok apply and if we move this out of the way as you can see now the middle one is blue and let's just do the final one so just go here edit new select the small one or the medium one right click uh, go duplicate right click on this one go rename and instead of uh, medium floor let's call it large floor okay and here instead of equal uh, is greater than hit ok apply ok and add it over here so let's see okay large floor okay here it is let's override this put it to solid uh, and override this to I don't know let's try green hit ok ok again apply and we're done and as you can see uh, the filters are now working and we have our overrides and now we can see graphically in view what uh, what is the size of the floors so this is good if you maybe have some industrial for floor that you have to kind of pour or something so maybe the large ones are three pours and the middle ones is one uh, two pours and this is like you can do it at all at once or something like that it's a great way of kind of pointing stuff out and making easy graphical uh, kind of changes to the to the views you have either to pull some information out of it out of the model or just to make it look a bit nicer uh, for just the graphic presentation but anyway that's it for this tutorial i hope i have introduced something new in revit to you thank you for watching and if you want to get all of my uh, project files that i do please support me on patreon first link in the description so you can get all of my project files for only five dollars a month and if you want some one-on-one -on -one tutoring you can get that as well for only three dollars a month you get one hour to talk to me and i can help you with some of your projects or whatever you need help with okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow